something I notice in people who especially struggled with addiction, drugs and alcohol, is like this this really heavy spirit of guilt and shame that just like follows and plagues and tries to rob and steal everything, relationships, like new opportunities, everything. How are you learning to combat that? Like has, I'm sure it's maybe, I don't know if it can ever fully go away, if that's one of those consistent thorns that will just keep you pulling close to God and like in his word and remembering what he says about you, but like, what are your ways of like, do you recognize it when that's happening? Uh, How do you? Absolutely. I do. Um, I think in the last year, it's been so much more easier to realize that for me, there is not probably one single person on this planet earth that doesn't have something that they could probably hide in a closet and be shameful for. And honestly, through TikTok and sharing my story, it has made it turn into a butterfly. I love butterflies. I love them. And so my shame and guilt to me was like a cocoon. And like, I kept it like that. And then being able to just tell my truth and story and not even necessarily so much to be ashamed of it because it's made me who I am really as cliche it it made me who strong independent loving I love people today um it rarely ever comes up shame and guilt the hardest issue is the kids you know but I I just I literally know that God has it all planned out (laughs) I think my family probably has more trouble with the shame of of, of me, of my past than I do. I I just, I don't live there anymore. I don't, I don't. And I don't want to be like, you know, it's such a breath of fresh air to be able to say, I do not care because that person's dead and gone. Um, Yes. I can talk about it today. It's complete freedom. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. God is only God. Um, yep. does it, do I lay in bed at night and think about it? No, I don't. It, in the last year it has been just lifted from me. I literally, that suffered, that was suffering and I didn't want to live like that. Yeah. And growing in this relationship with my husband and finding out who I am as a woman, because I felt like a 13, 16 year old child up until a few years ago. And so I'm still growing into this beautiful butterfly that doesn't want that shame and guilt to close me off. Wow. If that makes any sense. So it does, yeah. And I remember like when I was young, feeling like everybody could use my story against me. Like I felt like everybody was able to like, like I went through a lot of like slut shaming at school and different things like this, where I felt like everybody else was able to use my story. And so when I finally did start speaking it for myself, I realized that I was like taking that power away from them because I'm the one exposing it now. I'm the one talking about it now. And then when you're living from that redeemed place, like you said, I'm not that person anymore. You're not that person anymore. So you can talk about the things from the past and not feel it. And, you know, I think, well, you know, sometimes you still feel it, but the more you share about it the more you heal um emotionally so you can get to a point of sharing about it without feeling that guilt and shame because you like you said you know you're walking in redemption that's so good to say like especially when you're on social media well I don't think about it or I don't have regrets or I don't live there because I always have to remember the people I did hurt like my kids but I, I just pray that one day they'll 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 see that you know, mom don't live there anymore. She's a totally different person. If I still live there, y'all, I would be dead. If I still constantly let the Satan use my shame or my passing, I mean, I wouldn't, I would be dead, y'all. And I love who I am today. So I fight that. If it comes up, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I don't, you know, I joke about myself. I make fun of myself. So you don't have to basically, like you said. <laughs> exactly. I, you know, Nobody has it. anything to say about me that I haven't already said about myself. Right. Right. <laughs> I probably said worse. 